Welcome into the latest edition of Extra Time. Thank you as always for your tweet. Jan with us as is. Shaka here. So, no AC, Shaka, of course, still. Well, just get going, Dan. Please. Yeah, I worry that white t shirt might get a little more revealing as the sweat uh, mm -hmm. becomes heavier. Mm -hmm. But let's see how mm -hmm. this goes. Uh, Jan, can you see German clubs dominating in the European competitions this decade like the Spanish did last decade? <laughs> Well, Bayern Munich certainly now got a very young team. You, you feel, in a way, it's a cliche saying they're playing very modern. They, in every department, they're kind of developing good defending, high pressure, very fit, hunting the opposition, the ball all over the pitch. But what we are learning in a long football life is things can change around. Mm. But at the moment, it looks like the Spanish teams are a bit bit behind in especially Barcelona the way they're playing you can't walk around in a modern game of football English teams Liverpool will always be there so dominating nuts I don't I think that Dortmund and the other teams need to take another step till we can see that the German clubs will do that Bayern will be up there that for sure you, you mentioned Dortmund in fact that's the next question would Borussia Dortmund be the top side to challenge Bayern Munich this season for the Bundesliga crown who else could potentially dethrone the reigning Bundesliga champions? Little plug, of course, are in the US. Uh, ESPN now the new home of the Bundesliga. Yeah. Yeah, and you will love the Bundesliga. You will love the crowd if the, the crowd come back. And certainly you will love Dortmund with 81,000 people in the stands with the yellow wall there. So they got all the potential. They got everything to, to challenge uh, by and the only thing they don't have is that in big games they kind of go a bit under and you remember back when Dortmund had a chance at home and they lost to, to Bayern still there is a long way to go for Dortmund and I think that is a mentality thing not only the players because if they now can keep on to Sancho they got Holland who will you get a, a year older they can get their, their club captain Marco Royce back in the team and so on and so on so they have to make Another step, a bit like in England, you know, the, the, the teams behind Manchester City and Liverpool, they have to get closer because the space are unbelievable. They, they are unbelievable far, far away by Munich at the moment in Germany. Shaka, have we harshly raised the bar of expectation too high on Kylian Mbappe? Yes, he's an incredible player, but he's still very young, only playing Ligue 1, and he had a better, more balanced and cohesive France side around him in that 2018 World Cup winning side than the PSG team. No, I, I don't think so. I don't think the bar is too, has been raised too high for Mbappe at all. I think he's an incredible talent, you know, and, and you've seen that. But the bar with, of with... expectations, Shaq, are we too harsh on him? No, it's, no, it's not. He, he's a world-class player, and, and there are no more than three, maybe four players in, in world football better than him today, and that's including Messi and, and, and Ronaldo. I, I don't see why that expectation is, is a bad thing for Kylian Mbappe. After all, we are talking about a player who won the World Cup. Um, we've seen exactly how, how good he has been, not just in Liga, uh, but also with, uh, with, with Monaco previously in the Champions League. Okay, PSG haven't delivered on, on the promise of, of their spending, but as a team, they, uh, I, I thought they, they let themselves down in, in the final. I, I don't think the expectation on Mbappe is unrealistic or, or too high. He's, he is that good. Jan? Well, I think Mbappe, when you win the World Cup, you, we, we can give uh, take high expectation to the players. But I think it's a, it's a fair question in the terms that we, we, we should never forget that these players are human beings. Uh, I travel around, I'm, I'm, I'm a lot pitch side in the, in the in the big games and I, I, I often think of that because you see these young players and they're still, they, they are young human beings and the, ex the expectations are high but we pay them to be there and if you can't take the heat get blah 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 out of the kitchen so I think that we'll, uh, we'll that is the part of, of the job Mbappé got to do and he certainly has shown us what a good player he is and maybe one of the biggest biggest talent uh, of the world. A lot of tweets with this sort. Go on, Jan. Hold on, Dan. Did, did, did Jan just censor himself? Uh, yes, and I didn't even know that phrase had a swear word in it. No, no well, way. So he created a phrase and censored his own phrase that he created. Yes. All live on TV. Yeah. That's what did I say? You said if it's if it's too hot, blah blah blah, get out of the kitchen. Yes, yeah, so blah, 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 blah. I've learned. I'm a Norwegian uh, trying me out in another country. So that's what I put in my blah, 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 blah. But, but the blah, 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 blah has no relevance to that phrase. 
Uh, if I said a word, you will probably send me a mail. Yeah, and you can't do that. Oh, really? See, I don't know it with a swear word in it. <laughs> no, okay. do I? No. Oh, yeah, you have to visit me in Norway and I'll show you. <laughs> Jan, the first time he was on Extra Time, I think, broke the swearing record cumulatively <laughs> forever, so Dude, he's learned. I was, so, I was so embarrassed that I remember Craig, uh, don't you worry, nobody cares about in America, Disney, no one. <laughs> so I was very embarrassed. So I will never do that again, so you'll hear a lot of blah blah from me. Blah blahs. Okay. Oh, dear me. Oh, goodness. Shaka's had some blah blah performances on Extra Time. Yeah. And it's, right, Shaka. Was your prediction the cause of PSG's failure to win the cup last night? <laughs> the Shaka curse. <laughs> I have a, fr a friend of mine, Kernel, in, in Trinidad, is a big Bayern Munich fan. And after, what was it, Saturday show, he called me celebrating straight away. <laughs> and then called me again yesterday to say thank you very much. Drinks are in him. So uh, next time we're in Trinidad, Dan, we, we know where we know Kernel is going to be buying, buying our drinks. Bayern Munich fans were happy Saturday night. Let's just leave it at that. Most but I, I, I can tell you that after the after the game, Neymar said that. Yes. Uh, I said yeah, we pressure were. from Shaka was. I <laughs> couldn't, couldn't bear that. Yeah. So. Neymar and threw his tears. Well. <laughs> we knew the moment it all went wrong. <laughs> so that is not bad. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Said, uh, Good question. Fast. This is this is a discussion over beers that I'm sure many are having, and it's an interesting one, Jan. Bayern 2020. Or Liverpool 2019? Ooh. Oh, that is a good one. Uh, I will start first with the similarities. It's the, that they're, they are hunting the ball over, all over the place. Uh, oh, that, that is a tough one. Uh, I would say, because football is always developing, I would say that Bayern 2020. Wow. Well, we know Jan's biased towards Bayern, Shaka. Let's bring well, you up. said in every show I'm biased to every club in the world. <laughs> I need a favourite Well, club. we know you like Bayern. You like any German clubs and anyone coached by Norwegians, apart from the Manchester United board, you don't like them for the way they've treated oh, Jaden Sancho. That's Matt, Dan. That's Matt. So I am against Manchester United, who has a mate of mine as a manager. OK, we go back to Shaka. Well done, Shaka. <laughs> 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 blah blah blah. Right. Blah blah blah. <laughs> Shaka, who would you have? Bayern of this year or Liverpool of last year? It's a good question. It, 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 and I'm going to go Bayern 2020. And, and the reason I'm going to go that, and, and I know this is an unfair comparison, uh, I thought Bayern, what you saw from Bayern against Barcelona this year, um, overshadowed what you saw from Liverpool, albeit over two legs, uh, in, in 2019 uh, against Barca. Would would I would I have Rachel for friend from friends or would I have my wife? It's a tough question, this one. Well, Jan, I believe only you can answer that, and I don't <laughs> believe that me <laughs> or Shaka. <laughs> uh, 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 that's, that's a blah blah blah. That is a blah blah blah. Ah <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> By the way, Rachel from Friends, younger viewers, was very attractive in her day. Well, still attractive. No, I'm gonna stop talking. Right. No, no, no. She's still <laughs> attractive, Jennifer Aniston. She's 50 now, isn't she, Jan? Yeah, she's my age. Hey, we are. Oh, I feel like I've gone a bit red. Right, which Trevor winning Bayern side was better? 2013 or 2020, Jan? Another good one. Another Ooh. good one. Uh, I had the privilege to interview Lothar Mateus and I asked him about that and he said that this team was the greatest team of all Bayern teams, which is a, is a good comment when you see all the good teams they've had there. But if you take man for man, I would still say that the team of 2013 was better because they had Robin, Ribéry, Schweinsteiger, Lahm. They still had Müller. They, they had uh, they had Neuer in goal, of course. Great, great players. Uh, and no, no, of course they have a Lewandowski in that Champions League final played played for Dortmund, of course. But I, I, would, I would go for the 2013 team still. But I think that this team can turn into one of the greatest. Final question, Shaq. Were you ever starstruck by any player during your playing career? Thank you, No, Shaka. the only time. The, the only time I've ever been starstruck. I know the answer is... to this, Shaq. Go on. Mario Kempes. Yep. I'm in my life. Because he oh, works I'm... here and you met him in a corridor? Where did you meet him? I met him in a, uh, yeah, I met him in a corridor when I first arrived. And I, the only way I can explain it is 78 is... Uh, I, I, was, I was nine years old, so it's the first... 
World Cup that I really remember watching from end to end. 78 is where Mario Kempes starred and won. Um, and and you know, meeting him just kind of passing in in, in, in the hallway, I, it totally threw me. I didn't know he was working here before that. It's the only time in my life I've been starstruck. And I've been in a room with Pele. And even then, um, it, it didn't have the same effect that bumping into Mario Kempes. We know. Shaka much more of a Maradona than Pele fan. Anyway, Jan? I have well, never I have... said that in my life. Never. Uh, well, I, I got a lot of starstruck. I got inspired by people like that, uh, and, and especially what you had in your youth. And I remember growing up, Kevin Keegan was the, the main thing from, from England. He was unbelievable. And I, and I remember when I played in England, and he was the manager of, of Newcastle, and I spoke to him before the game. And I was, I was thinking, how long can I stand here? Can I, as a Middlesbrough player, ask for his autograph? Uh, it was one of those kind of <laughs> things. <laughs> Kevin Keegan uh, was the, 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 the big, big player of my youth. As you say that, yeah, and I remember when, when I moved from Reading to Newcastle, of course, Kevin Keegan was the manager. And as much as I know what was going on behind the scenes and a fee, a fee had been agreed and all that, um, all of a sudden, I get this call from a number I didn't recognize. And the voice identifies himself as Kevin Keegan. And for the first five minutes of that call, I am convinced that is a friend of mine just trying to wind me up. And I'm like, yeah, okay. Yeah, sure. You want me to decide for you? Yeah, okay. For the first <laughs> five minutes, I tell, I tell Kevin, I tell he had to be, listen, I'm serious. This is Kevin Keegan here. I only then I kind of started taking the call seriously. Well, nice to know you answered to Kevin Keegan. Didn't answer to our phone call, did he, Jan? 15 minutes we waiting for you today, Shaq, to do this extra time. Four thing. minutes! Four minutes! I was on another call for four minutes. Yeah, wow, well, you'd have answered if it was Kevin Keegan. Uh, that's it. Thank you very much, boys. More of this nonsense tomorrow. Until then, goodbye. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.